What's going on, party people? And it's Sunday. Well, you're going to see this on Monday, but right now it's Sunday. And I am playing around with some CT, CTR merchandising hacks, everybody. So we have this product here. Big and tall, 400 pounds office chair from Cool Cup. Now, their current image really isn't giving me what I need to know about the product. The biggest feature from this is not the fact that it has these skateboard style wheels or this blood pressure cuff inflatable doctor pump lumbar support. That looks weird. Um, the biggest value prop here being 249 is gonna be big and tall 400 plus pounds or 400 pounds um, limit. That's, a, that's the main reason why people are shopping for chairs that are big and tall. So this is not giving me what I need to know. So let's go here. I'm gonna create a little image. I'm also gonna post this as a um, final result, but also post this as a video, as a watch, watch with me, work with me, work with me, people, work with me. So we're gonna take this here, we're gonna duplicate it. This is the before, here's the after. Now, let's edit this and we're gonna take out some of this stuff. Coming back here, I like, this is the original product I'm looking at. I like what Serta is doing with the box here in the background. It gives a lot of room to put some of those little hacks, right? We're talking about, um, you know, keywords. They're not using it to the best capability that it could be, neither here nor there. And I like this cool thing that this company, Colome, which is Amazon's choice for a 400 pound office chair, by the way, is doing with the weight here. So let's take a little bit of both and mix it up. So come back over here. And why is this not anyway? We're gonna we're gonna pretend that this is not here. Um, because I don't know why it's giving me this problem. But neither here nor there. Let's take a look at a box. And now we're gonna grab a box. Grab a box. And what looks like a box that something like this would come in? <laughs> Let's put large box. Large box. Lar and preferably, you'd want to do this with your actual retail image, uh, retail box of your product. Now, if you don't have one, I always recommend go and make a rendering out of one just so you can do this kind of exercise. But Seems like the word large box is giving me problems too. So let's do this. Let's go with this. We'll say that this is our box. Okay. We'll make it smaller. I don't like the angle of it. Let's see if I can flip it. Eh. I'm not a, not a huge fan of the angle, but. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Oh, that little piece went away, by the way. Oh, that's good. Okay, so move this over here. Grab this one. I'm gonna send it backward. Position backwards. Bango. Okay, now remember, this is not exactly what it's gonna be because you're gonna have your box, right? So let's just pretend. You know what? I don't. I don't want to pretend. I want to get a good box. Let's see. I want to get a nice box. Because I want it to be as realistic as possible. Let's do white box. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Take the background out. Actually, you know what? White isn't going to be good because we've got a white background over here. So let's do what's going to stand out. Red box. See, is a red box retail packaging. It's gonna be more of these smaller boxes. Mm, let's try blue, blue box. And then we'll do like a blue graphic. This is the creative process, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't like blue because nothing's really coming up here for the exercise that I'm trying to do. We'll try yellow. Okay, we're doing the yellow box. Ground remover. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Position backwards. Okay. You know, I don't like this because it doesn't look like it's a box. 
I'm sorry. We're going to be difficult today. We're going to be difficult. Um, let's do what other color could we do? Red, got green box. Green, green box. Green box. Here we go. Finally got one. We got one. Okay. So now let's flip it hard. There we go. Position, send it backwards. Okay. Now we're talking. Okay, now I'm going to throw some shadows on this. Can I do some shadows without it getting wacky? Let's see. Nope. It's getting wacky. Mm, I'm okay with that. Okay, now what we're going to do is... Why does this do this? Canva, what are we doing? Okay, we'll leave the shadow off for now. Okay, now we're going to take a green weight. We're going to go to weight. We're going to go to a graphic of weights. And I like this one, but it has kilogram. Let's do this. What's up? Okay, now we're going to take the color out of the box here. Hear me out. Okay. I'm going to go over here to this. Okay. Let's pretend that the brand colors are green. Go with me on this. Go with me on the journey. And then we're going to take the opacity or transparency, excuse me. And we're going to drop it like it's hot. Okay, and then we're going to go here. Let's turn it like this. Let's turn it back. And then we're going to go to text. And we're going to type in 400 and pounds. Pounds or from now, you know what? Let's do, let's do that. I like that. I'd be liking that. Now the letter spacing is like this. Okay. Let me see. So now they have that 400 and the pounds is smaller. I do like that the pounds is smaller. Nope, I am making everything smaller. I'm getting on my nerves. Here we go. You're getting on my knives. Okay. Why is it making everything smaller? All right, we'll just have to break it up. Break it up, ladies and gents. Make this one big. Because we want it big. But we want it bigger. Okay. What do we want this bigger? Okay. Okay, is this in the middle? Now let's clone this little banana head. And we're going to write the whole word pounds out because we're going to be different. Canva hack, boop. Okay. Now we're going to make this smaller and bring this over. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Stop just trying to summarize everything, you know. Weirdo. Disable globally. There we go. Okay, so I like 400 pounds. Uh, I don't know if I like this color. I think I like this color better. This one's too dark. This one's nice. This one is nice. Okay, and then let's give it a brand. Oh, wait, this has a brand. Uh, Kulka. Kulka. Is there any brand? Branding, Kulka. Oh, do not put a fat guy like that. It's from a, coming from a fat guy myself. That is not cool, Kulka. Okay, so 400 pounds. There's no color, no logo. We'll make a logo. We'll make a logo. No, nah, actually, no, we won't make a logo. We're going to put adjustable lumbar support, quiet rubber wheels. Okay, let's go back here. I'm going to want big and tall. Left align because 
it's easier to read. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay. I know what you're gonna say, John, it's going behind there. I can't read it. But the point is that it looks like retail packaging. Hello. Hello. We're going to do big and tall. I don't think I want to put the office chair here per se. Let me see. Hmm, let's go back here. Let's do office. this a little big all okay we'll put it right here like this swing it swing it position it backwards so it's behind the chair because it looks like packaging leave me alone okay we'll make it a little bigger like this okay we can move this to make it a little bit more friendly a little friendly with that. I want it to hide behind there, but I want you to be able to still see it. So I think if I cut off that, but cut this in. Okay. okay. So now I want to pretend this is your logo here. We're going to put the logo. Uh, let's put something graphics. What's up? Okay, here. Recently used. Let's pretend. I always use this for like a CTA, but we're going to pretend this is your logo here. Send it back. Backwards there. And we're going to call this, I don't know. Let's see. Um, Kulka? That's the name of it. Kulka. Um, we're just going to put a miniature office chair. Office chair. Graphic. Beep boop. Um, it'll be like, it looks cool. This one. Again, this would be your logo. This would not just be a random kind of thing. But for right now, it's random. Backwards like that. There you go, big and tall office chair. Looks like an office chair box that it comes in. Great, good, grand, whatever. Anyway, that's the idea. We now very say very clearly that this is a big and tall office chair. Again, I am no graphic designer, but this will drastically help your CTR and your overall merchandising and conversion. Uh, if I take, I don't like these little green lines, but it's talking about ventilation or quilting or something like that. But if you wanted to talk about um, lumbar support like this is not a big call to, like the big thing that people are gonna buy this for is fitting up to 400 pounds not that it has these kind of weights these wheels are great this should definitely be in your image stack and your a plus but it's not gonna be the huge cta here the only thing i'm gonna say is i don't like the green being too green just me being a weirdo can i change it without getting crazy probably not Mm, that looks depressing. We're gonna keep it like that. So let me know what you guys think. I think this looks a lot better. Again, this is me making up retail packaging. Spend a lot more time on it if you don't have retail packaging, but if you do use retail packaging that you have, if you don't spend more time to make it look nice, this is the idea though. Big and tall, a logo defining that you're a chair. Make it look like a box, like you're the sizing of your, your, your product would come in office chair very clearly and then 400 pounds with the weight on it and don't show fat people coming from a fellow fat person i'm offended by this but let me know what you guys think what do you guys think before or after all right cool let me know guys bye